today's our topic is motional induced emf in a conducting rod or rotated in a uniform magnetic field as we see here we take one rod with length l this rod have position pq now this rod is going to move in a circular path so this is the path in circular motion clear now this rod is moving inside a magnetic will which is magnetic field which is going into the surface that is why it is represented by cross symbol now we are going to calculate induced emf for very small angle theta so by that we have subtended angle theta is equal to r by radius and theta is equal to q q dash by p q so by that it is q q dash upon l so therefore q q dash is equal to theta into l so then area swept by rod area swept by rod is area is equal to half into base into altitude so here base is pq and as an altitude we take qq dash so further this is half into pq is l into qq dash so this is qq dash which is theta into l so further it is theta l square clear therefore magnetic flux intercepted magnetic flux intercepted here that is flux phi is equal to b a cos theta what is theta theta is 0 degree we find the area vector is going into the surface and the magnetic field is also going into the surface so that is why angle between area vector and magnetic field is 0 degree so cos 0 we know that it is 1 so further this equation become as half into b into theta l square clear therefore magnitude of induced emf magnitude of induced emf induced emf that is epsilon is equal to it is d phi by dt which is equal to d by dt what is phi phi value is this value so we take here it is half into b into theta into l square okay now we see that all terms are constant b is constant l is constant only the substantive angle that is theta is changing so we take we write as it is b half of b l square d theta by dt so this is what this is angular displacement so angular displacement is uh, rate of change of angular displacement is angular velocity so it is uh, it will become as epsilon is equal to half into b l square d phi by dt is what angular velocity which is omega so this is your motional induced emf in a conducting rod rotated in a uniform magnetic field remember this equation is equally valid for the wheel for the circular loop or anything any conductor which is in circular motion inside a magnetic field thank you